Look, as a adventure and landscape photographer who likes to dabble in lifestyle and portrait photography from time to time, I do not have the time to go through the whole rigmarole of getting into Photoshop and doing professional photo retouching and airbrushing to get softer skin in my photos. You might not have that time either, but luckily for you, I got a hack. Let's get into it. Yo, sub squad, welcome on into the channel. My name is Kyle Meshna and I'm a landscape photographer and filmmaker based here in San Francisco, California. Today, we are looking at a one-click hack in Lightroom to get softer skin. It's not the number one end-all be-all way to do it, but this will work for the majority of instances and I think this will save you guys a ton of time. What we're gonna do is look at three different photos of increasing level of difficulty to see how we can use this one-click hack in Lightroom to get softer skin in your portraits. Okay, so here we are are with our first portrait. This portrait is taken by my friend Alex. She is a amazing, amazing portrait photographer. Her handle is Liquid Verve, and this is her model, Katie McKenzie. Absolutely be sure to follow them because they are both absolute masters at their craft. So the way that we do this one-click hack is this. First things first, you're going to want to select your brush. And from there, you can go into the effect and click Soften Skin Light. Do not click the normal Soften Skin. That is way too much. Promise you want to use the light version. So we'll go ahead and click the Soften Skin Light. And then down here, a few important things to note. You want to have your flow set to 100. You want to have your density set to 100. The feather and size don't matter for now. And very important, you need to click the auto mask. Auto mask basically assumes that you're a toddler that you can't color in the lines. This will help you color inside the lines. So you go ahead and select all of those. You will then take your brush and make sure that the size is such that the inner circle is large enough to cover the entire model's face. And then, as I mentioned, you just click once. That's it, you're done. If you wanna see what this has affected, you can click O on your keyboard and you'll see that it has only affected her face. It has not impacted her hair. It has not impacted her eyes. That is what the auto mask pretending like you're a toddler has done for you. It knows that you're not trying to cover up everything and has just selected the skin. If we zoom in here, we can see what this has done. You can always turn off and on your selection by clicking this toggle button here. So if we turn this off and on, you will see that it has nicely softened out the skin of our model. Pretty sweet, huh? Now, is this what a professional retoucher would do? Is this what my friend Alex Liquid Verve on Instagram would do? Absolutely not. She would spend up to hours editing this photo. It would be a lot better, but for our purposes, this is pretty dang good. Now, with that said, this isn't gonna work 100% of the time perfectly for every scenario. So let's go ahead and take a look at another example where we have to do a couple slight little tweaks. Okay, so taking a look at this second example, we're gonna go ahead and do the same process. We will still select our brush. We will still select the soft and skin light. Everything else here is the same. Still click that auto mask because we're still pretending that we're a toddler. And we'll, we'll go ahead and make our brush a little bit larger do our one click. And if we zoom in here and again, select O on the keyboard, we'll see that this has actually impacted far more of her face than we wanted it to. We do not want it to affect her hair, her eyes, uh, her teeth, her lips, those types of things, which it has done in this instance. So the toddler tool has not done us very well in this instance. However, there's a second toddler tool to help us color in the lines even better, which is the range mask. So if we go ahead and select the range mask and then select color, there's this little eyedropper tool. So we click that one and then click on our model's face and it will sample our model's face. You'll see that it will remove the red from all of those areas that I was just talking about. So again, it's helping us stay inside the lines further like a toddler. This whole video could probably be titled softening skin for a toddler. If we go ahead and select O to hide that mask, we'll see here that this has done a pretty good job. And again, just to toggle this on and off, if we'd like to, we can select this button here and we see the before and after. It has done quite a good job. So what if we can't use the color picker because for example, the color of their skin is the same as their hair or it's a little bit too close to their lips, for example, as is the case with this third photo. We can still repeat the same process. We can use our brush, soften skin, all of the same settings, use that auto mask, do our clicking on our model, 
And if we zoom in here, when we show our mask, we'll see here that it has done kind of a bad job in this instance. It's all still just one blob as if we clicked and there was no toddler tool helping us out at all. We can go ahead and select that range mask as well, use our eyedropper, but again, it's gonna still not do that great of a job. It's helped us out a little bit around her eyes, but it's still not done as good of a job as we would be hoping to do. So what we can do instead is do this a little bit further. We can go back to our brush panel here and select erase, and it's gonna erase the red part, which is our softening. So we wanna erase it from all the parts that are important. For example, her hair. So if we just drag this eraser along the hair, you'll see that the red goes away, which is our desired effect. And by still having that auto mask on, this is gonna help us stay within the lines. So if you get a little bit too close to something, it's gonna help you stay within those lines there. And while that auto mask will help you pretty well, it's not gonna be perfect. So do still try to stay close to the lines. It's just gonna help you stay within those lines a little bit here. So we'll erase from her hair. We will also want to erase from her teeth and lips. So let's go ahead and do that as well. We also wanna make sure that this is not impacting her eyes. Eyes should be sharp. They should probably be the sharpest part of your photo. So let's make that brush a little bit smaller and just paint out her eyes. Same here, let's paint out this eye. And we'll also paint out the eyebrows. We want those to be nice and sharp as well. And we'll notice that our auto mask toddler tool has done a pretty good job of helping us stay in the lines here. If we select O on our keyboard, we'll go back to the normal mode that is not having her face be all red. And we'll see here that it has again done a pretty good job. One more time here, we can select the toggle to see what we have as a before and after and it's done a fantastic job of smoothing up the skin in very little time. And boom, there you go. We have basically hacked our way into some softer skin in Lightroom without ever touching Photoshop. Again, this is not the way that a professional retoucher would do it. They would spend a lot more time on it. They would do it in Photoshop, but that's not the purpose of this video. The purpose of this video is to make it nice and quick and easy and have a little bit of flexibility given whatever different scenarios you encounter. If you do wanna see a video where we go into the more advanced ways of doing this in Photoshop, please do let me know in the comments below. Guys, if you did like this video, I would really appreciate it if you played thumb more at the like button it does help me out a bunch. I have a couple of videos popping up that are similar to this one. So if you do like photography tutorials, I would recommend giving one of those a watch. And if you haven't already, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. One click Photoshop. No, let's jump into Let's jump into Lightroom. <clears throat> Don't use this one. I would appreciate it. I do photos. Ah. You'd think I would get this one by now. I've done it enough. I've, I've said the outro plenty of times and I still can't get it. Uh.